Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are on uh, Friday morning. Congratulations, you made it to Friday. And uh, yeah, we've started in on Romans. We read Romans uh, 1 to 3 this morning. And um, huge themes, huge themes here. And, and I, I love reading it through the passion. The passion just for some reason makes us just a lot clearer um, to understand. In, in, in the themes are, you just have a, a greater understanding of who Paul is writing to, why he's writing to them, and what he's dealing with. But in, in chapter one, there's a, a, a little thing that um, can get buried, I think, in, in the greater themes. And it's really important. And, and it's, it's talking about God's righteousness and, and the righteousness that we've received, that we've freely received because of Jesus Christ. And uh, the thing that's mentioned, and I wrote it down because, man, I'm going to need to spend some time with this because it's wonderful. He, uh, Paul writes, he talked about this righteousness um, moving us from, from receiving life through faith, okay? This righteousness is moving us, so it's, it, it's alive. This righteousness is moving us from receiving life to the power of living by faith. Receive, sorry, so it's it's a righteousness is moving us from receiving life through faith. So receiving life through faith, it's moving us from that, from receiving life through faith, because that's the beginning, life through faith to the power of living by faith. Yeah, because I mean, this is a theme that we've been going on for a little while here about because so many Christians don't go any further than the cross. They don't go any further than just believing. Yeah, they, they receive Jesus and that's as, as far as it goes. But we've been, we, we have the power to live by faith. Yeah, righteousness, you know, it's, uh, it, it's great. It, it, it enabled us to receive this righteousness. Jesus' righteousness enabled us to receive life by faith. But the same righteousness is moving us from there to the power of living life by faith. Wow, come on, just chew on that for a little while. Chew on that for a little while. I don't really have anything more to say other than that. <laughs> That's just, just, man, if you just let that sink in, let it sink in, let it sink in, just let it, just meditate on that for the, for the rest of the day. Just meditate on that. Just think on that. And, and uh, where are you? Where are you? Where, are you just at a place of receiving? Uh, life by faith are you just have you just received life from, by faith or do you have that power of living by faith living by faith there's a huge difference um, <clears throat> huge difference um, yeah uh, one doesn't really impact you very much other than that you've received salvation the other one is uh, is living by that righteousness is living out that righteousness that impacting every part of your life it's it's that it's that that, that um, garden plant that is growing up and and it, it, it enters into every aspect of your life man that helps me understand what I was seeing in prayer this morning it is the supporting structure um, it brings life into every area it's it's that superpower it, it just brings energy it brings uh, passion it brings it into every area of your life and it brings that righteousness that God's way of doing things it brings the God's way of doing things and that's the power that just permeates through through everything and uh, that's what's been given to you that's what's been given to you so yeah think about that it's exciting I gotta go God bless have a great day